At this time, Coach, if you would, please start us off with an opening statement. Well, I think if you look around college basketball and you look around our league, what happened Thursday night, you know that this is the time of year that, you know, it's that, that dog day, uh, dog day time of the year where, you know, you've been going, you've been going, and March is right around the corner and everybody's looking forward to March. And sometimes doing the little things and sticking to what you do is hard to do. You saw that in our league with some losses some, by some top teams that were surprising. And I thought today's game was one of those. I, I really thought that it was ugly. Um, it wasn't really quality basketball being played. Uh, you know, we missed layups, we missed free throws. I think they did the same. Um, but when a push came to shove down the stretch, I thought that we stepped up and we really, really played a good last six minutes of the game. They made a little run, made some threes against us. Uh, and we stepped up, made free throws, we handled the ball, we protected it, and we got it where we wanted to do, we executed. And we did the little things right down the stretch, which, you know, Bader made a big three off a of play. And, you know, everything went our way down the stretch as far as execution, and that's what you look for as a coach. So I'm very, very pleased with the way this happened and the way it ended, and uh, it's a good win for all of them. At this time, we'll take questions for the players. Uh, Reggie, Paul Camp, Oakland Press. You've had some pretty notable games in your career against IPFW. Um, do you happen to get up get up for those games any any more than any others? What's what's the secret against those guys? Uh, honestly, I take the same approach, you know, that I take to you know every game, you know, just uh, trying to take advantage of every opportunity that I get to put the ball in the basket and every situation that my teammates put me in a position to score. So uh, fortunately, I just you know happen to have a good performance against IPFW, and you know they're, they're a good team. Uh, Boy, he's a, he's a good defender, and I give him all credit. You know, I just make some tough shots. Thanks. Dan Sticker at NorfolkSports.com. This is for Reggie. Reggie, you guys are down 51-50, a little more than 14 to go. You went on a 22-7 run over seven minutes. What did you guys see differently in that time? Did you jack up the defense a little bit or just start shooting more confidence? Um, well, uh, I think Frank Gaines, you know, he made some tough shots, some uh, long, deep threes, and they got a couple of uh, offensive rebounds here and there. So when we shored up those little things, I think that's when we were able to, you know, take control of the game again. Gunnar Manchik, the open post. Um, Drew, in the first half, you struggled. It seemed like you were struggling a little bit going one of seven. Um, talk about what changed at halftime. Um, I just had to realize that I'm a good player. You know, sometimes when you when you uh, start off, um, you know, not making your shots or you know struggling a little bit, you gotta do all the little things. And you know, I kind of got away from that at the beginning. I wasn't playing. You know, I let games get going. And, um, you know, once I tightened up, you know, defense and, you know, stopped worrying about missing shots and just started playing with confidence that I'm used to, I was able to, you know, knock down open looks and, you know, just be the all-around hustle guy. Uh, Drew, what do you think guys need to work on? Are you at the highest level you can play going into the tournament or did, what, did, what else do you guys still need to improve? You know, just doing all the little things right that, you know, coaches preaching every day, um, you know, being in the right position defensively, you know, um, running crisp offense and, you know, boxing out, rebounds, just just little things like that we got to just continue to get better at. And if we keep building up, we're going to be a, a great team to play against in March. Matt Pocket, WRC Radio. Uh, Reggie, talk about, uh, obviously, one of these senior night uh, coming up for you, your last game is all arena. Could you talk about that and the emotion uh, coming into that game? Um, well, yeah, it's going to be a hard day for me, but I'm trying to go in there and, and get a big win. Um, I appreciate everything the Grizzly family has done. Um, they brought me in open arms, and it's, it's been a good good three years here, and I'm, I'm just thankful for the opportunity and all the love that I've received since I've been here. Anything else for the players? Thank you both. Thank you. We will continue with questions for Coach Campy, starting with Dan.